Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to use automated machine learning to optimize your machine learning deployment flow. If you want to learn more about automated machine learning, you can visit this link aka.ms automated machine learning. Automated machine learning is the process of automating the time-consuming iterative task of a machine learning model development. Automated machine learning takes uncertainty into account, incorporating a probabilistic model to determine the best pipeline to try next. Uh, this approach uh, allows uh, automated machine learning to explore the most uh, promising uh, po possibilities without uh, wasting your time as a data scientist. So uh, let's see why there is really this uh, added value when you use machine learning. Most of the time, uh, data scientists, analysts and developers across different industries can use automated machine learning to implement machine learning solutions without extensive programming knowledge save time and resources, leverage data science best practices, and provide agile problem solving. In this example, we want to predict how much the cost of this car is going to be. So this pipeline trains a linear regression model to predict a car price based on technical features, such as make, model, horsepower, and size. Uh, because you are trying to answer the question, how much does it cost? Uh, this is called a regression problem because you want to predict a numerical variable. Usually the first uh, question that data scientists ask themselves is always which features should I use uh, to build my model and to feed the algorithm that I want to use for my um, predictive solution. And in this case, as you can see from this uh, simple example, we are using a mileage condition, car brand, and year of make. The next question is always which algorithm should I use? And after many iterations, you can pick an algorithm that you think is performing better than others and is giving you a good accuracy for your data science scenario. Third question is which parameters? As you know, each algorithm has different parameters that you have to tune in order to make sure that the algorithm is performing well. And depending on these three combinations of features, algorithms, and parameters, after many, many iterations, usually data scientists get a model that is good and is performing well for their own um, data science scenario. So not only the question which algorithm I should use, but also the question which parameters uh, should I use is also very, very uh, challenging. Uh, manual parameter setting and searching for optimal parameter values based on learning and experience can be a very time consuming task, such as a model selection, because the different estimators are better suited for different types of data and different problems. Hyperparameters are higher level parameters that cannot be learned directly from the data using gradient descent or other optimization algorithms. So they describe the structure information about a model that must be decided before fitting model parameters. Often the hardest part of solving a machine learning problem can be finding the right estimator for your specific data science scenario and for your specific algorithm that you are um, building, that you are implementing. And different estimators are better suited for different types of data and different problems. So there is simply no substitute for understanding the principle of each algorithm and understanding the system that generated your data. As you can understand, all of these uh, steps are actually pretty time consuming and it's a very iterative process. So not only you have selected the features that you want to use to feed your algorithms, but you have also to choose an algorithm and you have to spend a lot of time on parameter tuning, hyperparameter tuning. 
For this, uh, um, automated machine learning can be very, very helpful when you want to try different uh, machine learning algorithms and run uh, different machine learning pipelines at the same time in parallel. Let's now see how automated machine learning really works. So first of all, you have to identify and specify the problem, uh, the machine learning problem uh, that you want to solve. It is a classification, forecasting or regression. Then you have to specify the source and the format of your uh, label training data. It can be a NumPy arrays or a Pandas data frame. Uh, third, you need to configure the computer target for the model training, such as your local computer, Azure machine learning computes, remote VMs, or Azure Databricks. Then it is also important to configure the automated machine learning parameters that determine how many iterations over different models, hyperparameter settings, advanced pre-processing featureization, so this is basically feature engineering process, and what metrics to look at when determining the best model for your scenario. And finally, you need to submit the training run. During training, the Azure Machine Learning Service creates a number of in-parallel pipelines that try different algorithms and parameters. It will stop only once it hits the exit criteria defined in the experiment. You can also inspect the logged run information, which contains metrics gathered during the run, and these metrics can be very helpful. And finally, the training run produces a Python serialized object that we call pickle file that contains the model and the data prepared processing. Why model building is automated, you can also learn how important or relevant the features are to the generated models, and this is called the model interpretability. In the next video, we are going to see together how to run automated machine learning and how to deploy your model on Azure. Uh, for additional resources, I recommend you to visit the following uh, website. Uh, if you want to learn more about Azure machine learning documentation, please visit aka.ms slash Azure Machine Learning doc. If you want to learn more about uh, Azure Machine Learning service and see the different tutorials and trainings, visit aka.ms slash Azure Machine Learning service. And finally, to learn more about automated ML, you can uh, visit the website aka.ms slash automated machine learning.